Every week, many things are happening in MMORPG gaming world, so I have decided to bring to you every Sunday fresh news here on my YouTube channel. You will find out all you need to know about the new upcoming MMORPGs, new events, new updates and much more just within a few minutes time. So let's not waste time, let's dive into video. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos in the future. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that was introduction, now let's dive into video. First, let's talk about Lost Ark. It was actually a very exciting week, previous week regarding Lost Ark, because I can show you, first we have got this announcement regarding a first update during September. We still don't have any kind of release date for Scouter machinist a new class which should be released in second part of updates uh, during september so i assume in second half of this month right so for now we have this update here so let's check it out uh, first we have here social systems they have changed i would say uh, they have a little bit uh, improved many things here i will not go into details today actually i'm preparing a new video regarding what is happening with lost stark in generally during uh, september so check that video on my youtube channel probably tomorrow but you can see here few different changes stronghold updates i already noticed they have changed a few things when you visit your stronghold you will see that and then we have get here trixion improvements but let me scroll a little bit down i want to show you something else where is it it's here so this here are balance updates regarding different classes so they didn't change skills for all classes you'll notice here few classes berserker war dancer scrapper striker sharpshooter gunslinger arcanist sorceress and shadow hunter and these changes are they good or bad did they buff any class that much I wouldn't say so balance updates so they have switched a little bit balance between classes but i wouldn't say that any of these classes will now become something really op or that they have or that they have nerfed any class that much so we need to see how these changes have effect on gameplay of these classes but for now i wouldn't say like i said that they have nerfed or buffed any class that much regarding glow stark what is happening else i can show you here this is second huge announcement which we have get during previous week you can see here server mergers are coming and this is kind of natural i would say i will show you first uh, what are they planning to merge not all the servers you can see they are merging two servers into one and not all servers some servers in each region you can see here they have already named which servers actually not that much servers and is this normal is this something strange it's not strange because i can show you here number of players since release you can see here on steam database have uh, went down this is kind of normal right they have banned also lots of bot accounts so some servers feel a little bit empty so this server merge is a kind of natural thing this is happening after release of many mmorpgs just within few months after release so this is normal and you can see here number of real players within lost ark is still pretty decent we have here 24 hour peak 183 actually 184,000 players out of this number maybe there is like 50,000 bots that means that we still have like 120 140 30,000 players in the game that is actually a pretty decent number it's not that high as this number which you can see on the right side of my screen 1,325,000 players all-time peak that's something really amazing however don't forget there is a huge competition within mmorpg gaming genre new games are coming basically every single month so to have 120 130 thousand players seven months after release it's fine so lost ark is doing fine here in the west also or there in korea it's always within top three games on ranking list over there in korea that's a topic for another video you can check gaming ranking list over there in korea in some other videos on my youtube channel so lost ark is doing really good here in the west and over there in korea and you can see here it will be exciting september because we have already get this new update and we're supposed to get server merges and also new class scouter machinist is incoming during september 
still no release date when i see some concrete information i will let you know about that let's go forward with tower of fantasy tower of fantasy is a new mmorpg anime mmorpg which you can play on pc app store and google play this game was recently released globally on august 11. in the previous week we have got this red notification regarding ban actually 10 year account suspension for more than 3000 players this is something very good i have to say this is good example how gaming companies how publishers and developers of the game should handle problem of cheaters and bots within the games right so here we actually have example of players using cheating programs uh, to get in-game resources illegally and also within different kind of gameplay modes such as bygone phantasm and what the developers do and the publisher here they have give to those players 10 years account suspension so it's kind of not permanent but let's be honest here 10 years come on that's a perma ban i can show you here also they have give us a list of those players it's a huge list check this out you can check all this data on official website of uh, tower of fantasy but it's really nice to see this kind of action because i have played lots of mmorpgs within last 10 years or even more and i have to say within many games i have noticed that many gaming companies many publishers and developers they are not taking seriously this problem of cheating and that is serious problem right so either they ban players for like one week or two weeks or something like that right and they then they just return to the game however this here this beautiful red color notification yes this is real ban 10 years account suspension so now if you want to use cheating programs you'll think a little bit about that but if publisher will ban cheaters for only one week or two weeks and after that they normally return to the game just to continue using cheating programs come on there is no punishment in that right however this here this is nice no mercy to cheaters do this this is good example for other developers and publishers how problem of cheating programs and in generally right bots in the game should be handled so this was happening during previous week but not only that we are also getting a new update 1.5 with incoming of housing system on september 15 so that is only in a few days so you can see here on official twitter account of tower of fantasy many things are happening also soon we should get new update vira 2.0 with a new map a new city look at look at this this is insane right cyberpunk city this is looking so good absolutely amazing something to look forward to play very soon in the future so regarding tower of fantasy many things are happening if you like to play anime kind of pc mmorpgs i can highly recommend to you try to play tower of fantasy it's a free to play mmorpg so you will not lose anything if you try to play it if you don't like it delete the game currently i'm playing this game a lot also check my live streams on twitch if you are interested into new mmorpgs next week i will live stream for sure game play of tower of fantasy and some other new mmorpg titles let's go forward with alien ascent infinite realm today i'm talking about this mmorpg because of two reasons first reason is shutting down the game yes in the previous week we have get this i wouldn't say surprise notification it wasn't surprise because number of players is very low i will show you a little bit later anyway we have get this announcement termination of service notification you can see here the final day of service will be december 7th in north america and europe servers in korea will uh, still run until when that remains to be seen however only in north america and europe they are shut Shutting down the game and like i have said that is not a surprise because you can see here on steam database 24 hour peak 81 players this is not accurate number of players because majority of the players are playing this game throughout original game client however still this number is very low so no surprise here that uh, we have get a shutting down notification but it's kind of strange that we have get also new class Soulbringer at the same day september 7th when we have get this notification regarding shutting down the game of course i have tried to play new class Soul 
Soulbringer. It feels actually pretty good under the fingers. And I have, of course, a live stream on Twitch, a little bit of gameplay of Soulbringer. But you know what? During leveling, I have simply lose my will to continue to level up my Soulbringer because, you know, there is no point anymore. Class feels, this class feels very good under the fingers. Combat was never a problem in Elion. However, Elion had other issues. Pay to win, of course, pay to win reputation of the game, which already this game had even before release of the game, because Korean version of the game was pay to win even before Western release of the game. Also, game had other issues like IP block for many countries and very bad RNG regarding upgrading your breakthrough gear. So many issues regarding Alien. I need to mention also uh, graphic design. I mean, not actually graphic design. Overall graphics, which were outdated for 2021 and for sure for 2022. Currently, we are getting many new MMORPG titles with amazing graphics, right? Unreal Engine 5, Unreal Engine 4, and Alien graphic style right the graphics in generally cannot compete with those beautiful graphics right it's simply outdated so it's over for Elion but we are getting some other new MMORPG titles very soon here in the West this year is Summoners War Chronicles in the previous week I have noticed this during my live stream, I was checking what is happening with uh, different MMORPG titles and on my big surprise I have found this this here is official website of Summoner's War Chronicles for Western release and uh, this pre-registration form was not here uh, like uh, five days ago. This uh, have appeared like maybe within last three days. You can pre-register right now. You can grab some nice rewards for release of the game. Pre-registration is very simple. You can check dedicated video on my YouTube channel uh, regarding uh, Summoner's War Chronicles where I go into details a little bit what is happening regarding this game. This game will be released for PC and for mobile devices. It should be free to play, but I'm not certain in that. And uh, we don't have for now any kind of release date. I didn't see any kind of notification regarding that, but probably during this winter. Summoner's War Chronicles was released about three weeks ago over there in Korea. It's doing pretty good over there. And this is what kind of game actually let me show you let me scroll a little bit down you can see already now anime kind of graphic style beautiful characters so you are taking a role of one of three summoners each one of these summoners have different kind of abilities and then you are able to summon different kind of monsters you are collecting monsters you are collecting look at this archangel here for example beautiful graphic design ifrit it's written here meet over 350 different monsters that's a lot so you can play this, uh, you'll be able to play this free-to-play MMORPG very soon here in the West. Pre-registrations are open and check some dedicated videos regarding this game on my YouTube channel. So far I have made like three videos regarding Summoner's War Chronicles, but I'm preparing now new video with the latest new updated information regarding in-game features, how to play this game. And for sure I will try to play it because it's playable on PC. And we will see how will everything turn out. Regarding NFT features included, there was something written over there on Korean websites regarding that. I'm not sure will this game have NFT features included or not, but I will check that information before release. So Summoner's War Chronicles, a new upcoming MMORPG, probably during this winter we will be able to play this game. Pre-registration is already open, check dedicated videos on my YouTube channel to find some more information about this new MMORPG title. Yes, it's MMORPG, right? So to be clear on that. Let's go forward with Throne and Liberty, new upcoming MMORPG developed by NCSoft for PlayStation 5, Xbox and PC. No mobile devices. I always say this, no mobile devices, because lately within 2022, 2023, we are getting many, many new MMORPGs and most of these new MMORPGs are always playable on PC and mobile devices. However, this game here, you have heard, PlayStation 5, Xbox and PC. That is beautiful to hear, I have to say. So what is happening with Throne and Liberty within previous week? I can show you here. Actually, we have get something new. You can see here in front of you, new interactive website. 
developed by NCSoft. You will find link on my YouTube channel in video which is dedicated to this website because this is a huge news, right? So things are happening and I can't say that we have get some concrete new information regarding this game. During previous week, we didn't get any kind of new information regarding in-game features, business model, or maybe regarding some kind of beta testing phase, sadly. However, we have get at least this. Check this interactive website, it's looking absolutely amazing and what to say except it's nice to see that something is happening regarding Throne and Liberty and if developers of this game and CSoft want to release this game in first half of 2023 like they have officially announced, then they need to move forward with something concrete very soon, right? With some kind of testing phase like external testing phase, maybe beta testing, right? With some concrete information regarding in-game system, business model with something, right? So this here is one step forward for sure. No concrete information from previous week regarding Throne and Liberty, nothing concrete to give you regarding some in-game features or something like that, but at least this, right? One step forward to release of this game. If I see anything new is happening with Throne and Liberty, I will let you know about that. I'm checking daily all the new information regarding this game. This will be the biggest MMORPG release of 2023 for sure. I'm just hoping it will not be the biggest MMORPG release of 2024. Then that would be really disappointing, right? However, however, we can only hope for the best, right? So let's see what will happen in the future. From previous week, like I have shown you, we have got this new website, interactive map, of Throne and Liberty. Let's go forward with Swords of Legends Online. This MMORPG was released in Western regions in 2021 by Gameforge on three different platforms, on Steam, Epic Games Store and on original Gameforge client. Currently, this game is free to play, one really beautiful MMORPG and actually during September I can show you here many things are happening with this MMORPG title. You can see here new dungeons, biographies and PvP. I already made a dedicated video regarding all the new changes coming to Swords of Legends Online during September, so check it out. Beautiful title, I, I can show you here, Garden of Blades, Heavenly Waterfall. This is new free versus free arena. Then we have new biographies and many new things incoming soon. Check it out. This is one very interesting free to play option to play if you like to play PC MMORPGs. We are still waiting for that Unreal Engine 4 upgrade for this game. Even there in China, they still didn't get it. This is Chinese game, but it's announced. We should get it sooner or later. So Swords of Legends Online, if you like to play PC, MMORPGs, this game you cannot play on mobile devices. Beautiful graphics, amazing combat, and really highly developed housing system are main attributes of this game. Also, lots of raids. I need to mention, and I'm thinking about Swords of Legends Online, one very important thing also, this game is not pay to win, which is rare in 2021 nowadays, sadly, within MMORPG game in general, many games are pay to win, this game have battle pass and in-game shop, you cannot buy anything within that battle pass or in-game shop, which would be pay to win with real money, right? So no pay to win in Swords of Legends Online, one free to play MMORPG, which is not pay to win. This is amazing accomplishment, right, for 2022. So try it out or maybe wait for that Unreal Engine 4 upgrade. You can also do that. There are some other options to play currently, but like I have said, if you have never tried to play it, you can play this game completely for free on Steam, Epic Games Store and on original Gameforge client. And during September, many things are happening with Swords of Legends Online. Let's go forward with Project TS. In the previous week, we have got a new trailer for this Unreal Engine 5 game. Yes, Unreal Engine 5. So this is new upcoming MMORPG developed by Game Tales. And what we know about this game so far, the only information which I could find were actually that this game will be playable on PC and mobile devices, that it will have NFT features included. Yes, it will have NFT included. How will that turn out? That remains to be seen, right? And uh, this is new trailer. You can check uh, over there this trailer on official YouTube channel of Game Tales. It's looking very interesting. I mean, Unreal Engine 5, right? Characters are looking absolutely amazing. But I will not turn this into reaction video because I want to show you here. I went over there on GameTales.net to get some more information about this game. And look at this. 
I can't open this website. I simply can't. I have tried like 1 million times. I have tried from different PCs. It doesn't matter, right? I simply can't open this website. It's even written here in the right upper corner, not secure. I hope it's secure, but uh, I'm searching new information regarding Project ES. When I find some new information, I will let you know about that. In the meanwhile, you can check this beautiful gameplay trailer and something to look forward to play in the future if you can handle NFT features included into this game, because I know that many MMORPG players don't like this, right? So, so how will this turn out regarding NFT features included within this MMORPG and many others, because many gaming developers and many gaming companies are moving into that direction within uh, 2023 and 2022, obviously with new titles, that remains to be seen, however, just to let you know, Project TS, a new upcoming PC MMORPG, also playable on mobile devices, Unreal Engine 5 kind of game, I will get some more information about it, and I will let you know in some dedicated videos on my YouTube channel. Sadly, NFT MMORPG, but uh, who knows, we will see what will happen, right? How will everything turn out? So for this week, that's it regarding uh, MMORPG Gaming World. The most interesting things are happening with Lost Ark because we are getting this month, September, will be very exciting, a new class, new advanced class, Machinist, Scouter actually, right? And um, also, Lost Ark is not the only option to play. You have Tower of Fantasy here during September, new update on September 15, 1.5 with housing system. I'm preparing new video regarding housing system of Tower of Fantasy. Check that video on my YouTube channel within next two days for sure. Also, don't forget, you can, I mean, there is still time to play Alien, but what's the point, right? Like I have said, I have a, a live stream on Twitch, a gameplay of new class uh, Soulbringer for about one hour, and then I have simply, you know, lose my will. Because uh, why to level up even that character, right? Because it's over, right? It's over for Alien. Sad end, but not a surprise. Nothing surprisingly here, right? And also, don't forget about Summoner's War Chronicles, new upcoming PC MMORPG, also playable on mobile devices. Pre-registrations are open. Check it out here on official Western website of Summoner's War Chronicles. I'm preparing new video about this game with all the new updated information regarding different kind of in-game features. And of course, the thing we are all waiting for, most exciting thing, which will happen probably during 2023, Throne and Liberty, right? Within previous week, we have get at least something new, right? This interactive website, check it out. You can click, you can interact with this website. I, should I show you here right now? Wait, I can't click now, I think. It will be too long video now to show you everything. Check this website, you will find the link in one of my videos on my YouTube channel where I go into details regarding this website. You can play around with this website, check some details regarding different characters or storyline of this game. So, Throne and Liberty, things are moving into positive direction. When we will see release of this game, uh, that remains unknown or some beta testing phase. That would be really nice, but probably very soon. Let me know in the comments below video which new MMORPG are you waiting for to play in the future and which MMORPG are you playing nowadays. If you are interested in MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel for lots of gameplay videos, guides, news and reviews from World of MMORPG Gaming with main focus on a new upcoming PC MMORPGs. But of course when I see something interesting is happening with older titles, I will also let you know about that. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos in the future. See you soon.